Hi, everybody. Welcome to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by big game Miles Jackson. Orlando Galveo will join us momentarily as uh, I had a chance to talk to both coaches. Oh, boy, what a game the other night with the very impressive Derby team. They'll probably make a good run, but now we're on to the, today's game against the, the neighbor next town over Bridgewater Rainham Trojans. This should be one heck of a game. Yeah, very competitive game we will be seeing because Bridgewater, Rainham, and Brockton, they're a rivalry. We yep. play on Thanksgiving Day in football, and of course it carries over to basketball. It does. So um, right now they have BR is only playing with 10 guys on their roster. They have one, two, three. They have six guys, four, six guys, six. And uh, that could help out Brockton just just by just the endurance alone going yeah. up and down the court. So, I mean, we have not seen the boxers give us at least three good quarters of basketball all season. I yeah. mean, the BC High win was a good win. That was a team win. Yep. And then it's just, unfortunately, you know, they, you can see the demeanor in some of the players when they go down. But today's a new day. Um, good chance for the boxers to get some rhythm back. At least we're hoping they get some rhythm back. You know, too much talent. And, and I mentioned it before on the radio show, there's too much talent on this Brockton High School team not to have just one win. Yeah, and, and that's going to be a big test for uh, Coach DeBarrows to try to, try to get his team back on track. Like you said, they lost a few, and um, they just need to come out of here with a win. And it's just how the team is going to respond to Coach DeBarrows especially in that first quarter, in that first half. Right. Um, we'll be able to see how this um, team responds. I think Pina's going to probably get more time as he walks by us. Um, Masaya Pina, number 20. So um, I like the plan. I still like it. I, well, you know I love seeing three officials on the court, so this should be pretty good. That is for Coach Doug Alves. Um, they had a big win against Derv, uh, New Bedford, I believe, the other night to get them at 4-4 four and four coming into this game tonight. So this should be one heck of a contest. The other guy I was thinking as I jump around, you know me, Miles. I don't know. Yep. Uh, number 12, Cody Lambert. I think it's time for him, that young man, to step up. Another good bench player is Amari De Silva. And we're moments away from the athletic director, Kevin Caro to start the starting lineups. We'd like to welcome everybody watching watching in the um, Bridgewater Raynham area on our YouTube channel. And of course, everyone back home here in the Greater Brockton, the Greater Brockton Faithful. Well, Brockton's have to come out playing hard right at yeah. the beginning. They can't be passive because you know Bridgewater's gonna come out and um, come out with, and hopefully, well, they're hoping to play their A game, but Brockton can't come out sluggish. They're gonna have to come out yep. playing their A game. They got they have no choice. Yeah, they have to match up with this Bridgewater Rayham team. Now here is Coach Kevin Cavara. And your Brockton boxers. Please do your part by showing respect to everyone involved in tonight's contest. A friendly reminder that student athletes play the game, coaches coach, fans support their team, and officials manage the game and sometimes make calls that you may not agree with. With that being said, inappropriate behavior, language, taunting, or verbal criticism of coaches, players, and officials would not be tolerated and may result in your removal from the gymnasium. We'd like to thank our sponsors for their support and generosity, and they are Teamsters Local 653, Woodward's Auto Spring Shop, Madison Food Group, Irving's Home Center, Giorgio's Roast Beef, Sign Design, Bethel Medical Group, Copeland Auto Group, JDP Realty Team, Brockton Firefighters, Union Local 144, and My Three Sons Diner. And now for tonight's starting lineup, beginning with the visiting Bridgewater Rainham Trojans. Number three, Kaysen Falk. I guess she is playing. Number 11, Luke Terrell. Number 15, Jack Balutis. Number 21, Jack Hannigan. And number 23, Mike Ryan. Bridgewater Random is coached by Doug Alves. And now, for the starting lineup for your Brockton Boxers. Number 12, Cody Lambert. 
Number 15, Nathan O'Carey. Number five, Marcus Sports. Number three, Nate Rateau. And number two, Jean-Francois. The boxers are coached by Manny DeBarros. Now at this time, folks, I ask that you please rise, remove your hats, and direct your attention to the flag at midcourt as we honor America with the singing of our national anthem. All right, so now we'll hear from Orlando Galveo. Yes, uh, good evening from the staff gymnasium. Brockton Biar gets no better on a Friday night. I talked to both coaches. Uh, Coach uh, Alves says he will, be, he will be without two players today because of team rules. And I also talked to Manny, Coach Manny DeBarrows. He's, we're going to be without Shitty Nwusi, uh for the for today and possibly the remainder of the season. Back to you, Miles and Don. All right, thank you, Orlando. Well, this is a surprise. Yeah. Uh, uh, Chitty's not, Chitty's um, out, of the, out, of, out of the lineup for today, so that's a big loss for the boxers coming into this game. Again, boxers trying to get off this five-game losing streak, and the Trojans just trying to extend themselves to five and four with a last game they had a I guess a close win against uh, New Bedford. So the boxes are going to come out exactly like they said they were. I don't know if they're going to change it up. So Nathan Okire. Okire, yep. He's got his big shoes to fill. Yes, he does. And I'm sure Costa Barrow's got him up to task. Tip is going to go out of bounds. And it's going to be BR ball, just again, just underway. As Bellotta still um, inbound the ball for the Trojans. And handing, and they go semi, semi full court press, kind of light, if you know what I mean. Trying to slow it down, that's Terrell. Over to Bellottis, very good hands by Bellottis. Hannigan covered by Lambert. Kicks it back over to Wren, Wren excuse me, thinking three, almost lost the ball to Ruto. Long shot off the rim on the floor, it won't go. Rebound, boxes. nice defense by the boxes. Yeah, excellent rebound by um, Francois. Lambert saw a three, he didn't get it. Rebound, BR, they lost it momentarily. Bellottis right there to get it. Gets it back on top of him. Really covered tight by Fultz. That's Hannigan. Hannigan trying to go to his right. They went all the way around the perimeter. Back to Terrell. Terrell kicks that back over to Wren. There's a shot. No go, no look. And an offensive board for BR. Now Falk moving the ball around. Here's Florida. Kicks it back out. Top of the key. Had a shot. 
Stop, pivot it, and getting in for a double dribble. Made a, no, yeah, travel. Good, good job by Brockton's defense. Denying uh, Bridgewater Rayham to get a clean shot off. All right, here comes one of my favorite players this year, Nathan Rateau. Love his body English, love his ability to drive the ball and make plays happen. Lambert was thinking three, kicks all the far over. Forts has a nice look. That's in and out, won't go. Ball loose, Rateau hustles, moves. Bounce pass to Francois. There's a shot by Rateau, that won't go. On the floor, loose. Covered by Brockton, turn around, bounce pass. Forts, thinking about driving, double team inside to the big man. Floater right in, and we're on the board. Yeah, nice job there by Francois to work it right in. Yeah, Falk. Fox is not messing around. I'll tell you, they're going right at him on defense. Right at him. Well, Brockton has to put a little extra pressure on defense without um, Chitty in there. Nuosu. Trying to drive his Terrell. Great defense by Francois. Falk now trying to go around Falk. She moves his right in. Oh, the big see you later by O'Kara. Nathan O'Kara timed that perfectly. He timed it perfectly, Dom. Went up there right in the paint and swatted it away. Good signal that he gave to the um, Bridgewater team. It's not going to be easy bringing it inside. Long shot for three. In and out, won't go. Actually, almost had a shot clock violation there for a minute. Francois, see if he's going to drive. He's going downtown right in. That's tipped. Nice job there by Bridgewater Rayham. I think that is Hannigan on the temp, uh, just got a piece of that. Hannigan now kicks it all the way back out. That's Terrell. Terrell looking for a cut. He's looking for Rain, the other captain. He stops, kicks it back to the far side. That's Falk. Falk covered by. This is uh, fade away. That won't go. Long shot. Lamb it there. He could finish. And he does. Yeah, nice job there. Nice pass. Lambert did a good job protecting the ball before he put it up. The, the press is really hurting the really hurting the Trojans now. That won't go. Ball tipped. Francois had it. Rebound BR. Go, trying to go inside. Hannigan moving up to Lambert. And he got a foul. That was just a mismatch right there. Yeah, and, and he knew it for um, Bridgewater Rayham. Uh, Hannigan took advantage. Gets two free throws. Jack Cannigan doing what a good player does. He saw the miss, did, this, miss, the mismatch, I guess, and took it. I'm sorry, I'll spit it out sooner <laughs> or later. <laughs> oh, boy. Miles, it's good to see you, buddy. Nice to see you, too. One of the keys to this game with Bridgewater missing a lot of players is what? how is their bench? There'll be players on that bench, I believe, yeah. that don't see a lot of playing time, and they're going to have to see some playing time this evening. He missed them both, and they got their own offensive, re got the rebound. Now driving. Falk turns, spins up the glass. John Francois got a piece of that. Now Rito smartly slows it down, looks, thinking about driving. Kicks it back over to Forts, top of the key. 4.25 yeah. left in this quarter. Inside the... Oh, Cara, Cara. To Rito. Inside to Francois, nice, nice Beautiful play. pass, beautiful feed to the big man. That was tic-tac right there. Rain, he's gonna have a jump ball. Possession arrow goes in favor of the Trojans. Now checking in is Simmons and Santos for the Trojans. So Forch will inbound the ball right in front of us with 3.58 left in the quarter. Rocho, Forch thinking about shooting it. Top of the perimeter, he's gonna drive right. Far side, Lambert, sees he has three and he nails it. And Bridgewater Rams gonna find out you can't leave Lambert open yeah. because he will hit that shot. He will. Time out, time out, big. We are 9 nothing. We haven't seen this in a while with 3.48 left in the quarter. Well, Brockton's playing good defense on Bridgewater-Rayham. They haven't been able to get off a good shot. And inside the paint, 
the, the shot's been blocked or they just miss it. So that just tells you great defense by Brockton's um, front court. What's the best way to describe that defense we're looking at Brockton? You wouldn't really call that a full court press, right? Even no, I, yeah, I call like a, yes. you know, they're just putting pressure on them, not a heavy pressure, yeah. but they're making Bridgewater, Rainham, making their guards work before they even get it over half court. Yeah, making them think before they even have, as soon exactly. as they have the ball. Exactly. All right, nine nothing. Great look defensively for a minute. I, I don't want to. I don't want to count my my horseshoes too soon. But I'm liking what I'm seeing just in the body English alone. Well, well, uh, what's going to hurt Bridgewater Rainham? I'm looking at their roster. They've got four, five guards that are out. Yep. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. They got one, two, three. They got four guards that are out tonight. That's so, crazy. Yeah, so some of them guys that don't play a lot coming off the bench, they're going to be tested, and Brockton's testing them. Yep. Up on him right away is B. Oh, no, there's a takeaway. Great defense calls the takeaway. Lambert, Forts, he has a look. That's off. Rebound tipped, covered by the Trojans. Here comes Hannigan. Jack Hannigan smartly slows it down. Trying to work it over to Folk. Gets it over to Folk, covered tight by Lambert. Thinking about going left, stops. Thought he had a clean look with Santos. That's blocked, and here comes BR. Oh! Nice kick. Hey, nice kick. It'll be Brockton's ball. Um, Francois lost it, but it went off the Bridgewater Rayham's um, hand. We've seen that happen with him before, too. Yeah. It's a little bit too fast. Off the inbound. There's O'Kara. Forts driving his fadeaway. That's too sh too sh too long. Rebound Trojans. On oh, trying to save it, he's gonna say he was on the line. We get a foul. Twenty-one red. So that is gonna be on Hannigan. His first team first. And now this is the other gentleman I like. This other young man, uh, Judson uh, Philogen, checking in. For BR and uh, O'Kara's going to take a break. And also checking in for Brockton is uh, Colette. He checks in. And checking in for the uh, for the Trojans is Nozell. In Nozell. Forts now thinking about driving. Florida right in. Not strong enough. Forts is there to pick it up. I mean, Francois is going to pick it up. Almost picked it up again. Brockton gets the boards. Coletta gets that ball. Gets it out to Forge. Forge top of the key now. Looking. Thinking about taking the shot. Lambert again. Three. In and out. Won't go. Almost hit one. Nice rebound by the smallest kid on the court. There's a long shot to rim. Won't go. Lambert there for Brockton to pick up an re offensive rebound. Brockton's doing a great job getting second chances and third chances when they have the ball. Corletti was thinking about shooting the ball. Forts now. Smiley walk around inside Lambert fire baseline. See if he drives. Kick it over to Francois. Francois is going to use his God given ability. Driving. He's fouled. Oh, they're calling offensive. Wow. Charge. I didn't see a lot of contact. No, me neither. But I guess they're going to call the offensive foul because he had his feet planted. But yeah. it, there wasn't a lot. Um, Francois uh, tried to, did a good job avoiding contact. He did. So I guess he was stationary enough to draw the foul. Yeah. Get another foul. Now I think what Brockton has to do, the only one that's really hit an outside shot is Lambert. Um, what they're going to have to do when they take those outside shots, till they start hitting them, they're going to have to start following this shot. Absolutely. Off the inbound, little give and go. Floater Falk won't go. Rebound Lambert. He gets double teamed right away. Philogene over to Francois. Inside to Colette. Colette back over to Force. Lambert now thinking about maybe shooting it, but before he can say anything, Santos cards him. Double team. Force going to try to drive. Bounce pass inside. Back nice. over to Francois. Beautiful uh, teamwork right there. Justin gave it to uh, Francois underneath. He could have took the shot. Nice job by Francois finishing up the glass and finishes. Beautiful teamwork right there with the basketball. That's beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Okay. 
So coming out, uh, Williams coming up, coming in. Looks like Simpson's coming out for BR. And like you said, Francois has a chance to make this a three-point play. Right now, Francois is the dominant player in the paint, offense or defense. Yep, absolutely. Oh, no, he's bleeding. Yeah, we got a nosebleed. Who's the trainer? I remember this official right here, the gentleman in front of us, he's really good. Actually, this whole crew right here is uh, is pretty good. Well, that was a quick a remedy. Yeah, it was. He said something about 20 team. seconds. All right, and that's on Jack uh, Hannigan. He's getting right there in the middle of every white shirt he can, trying to get the ball in there for, for BR. Francois finishes a three-point play. Off the inbound. Falk now. Gets that over to Mizell, over to Falk, trying to move it around the perimeter as fast as they can. Williams, the far perimeter, long shot. Won't go, ball loose. Taken by the boxes, Lambert now has the ball. See if he goes coast to coast, kicks it back out far perimeter. Back to Forts, top of the perimeter, inside Lambert, way over to Francois. Francois gonna try to drive off the glass and in. Yeah, right now, Francois knows he can drive to the basket, so he's taking advantage of what they've given him. Absolutely. Nozell, over to Hannigan. Hannigan, a long shot. Berries for two, and with 35 seconds left in the first quarter, the Trojans are on the board. Collette inside Francois. Forts now. This is the last shot. There is 0.5 seconds between the game clock and the shot clock. And after that, we'll hear from Orlando. Collette. Lambert, he's going to drive baseline. Far side, that ball's tipped. That'll do it. That'll do it. We got a score. Brockton 16, Bridgewater Raynham 2. Let's see if we um, have a land. I, I don't know if he can see us. I can't see him. Hopefully we'll get him, but until he till we do, yeah. Till we get him. Francois, a key to that first quarter. Yep. And also, uh, Cody Lambert, he's been involved in the rebounding. He's hit a, one or two shots. Yep. Uh, he's been very aggressive, trying to get to the ball. Also, um, Ruto done a good job there. And Brockton's defense has just been stellar. Absolutely. Bridgewater Rayhan didn't score a basket till about 25 seconds left in the first quarter. We need three more quarters of this. And then I'll feel comfortable. <laughs> you know? But uh, he's... Uh, hats off to Coach DeBarros. He made an adjustment, losing a big guy, and right now it's looking really good. Yeah, yeah. He, he he's really he's really prepared this um, Brockton team mentally right. to come out here with fire right from right from the tip off. Yep, absolutely. All right, so we're getting ready to give you the second quarter here. You know, now they look at the officials. It's almost like it's almost like there's a playoff game. Yeah. All right, so it will be Bridgewater and Raymond's ball off the inbound. The boxes are gonna, excuse me, the Trojans are gonna go with Falk, Hannigan. It looks like Simpson, Santos, and having the ball right now is Nozell. Nozell covered by Retoke, trying to go around Philogene. That's Williams, Williams now in the game. Hannigan. Covered by Hodge. Trying to drive. Rato shuts that down. Williams trying to move. His long shot for three. Won't go. Rebound. BR and this Francois is going to try to finish it himself, and he does. Wow. 
He nice. just flew in the air halfway down the uh, free throw line. I'm surprised he didn't get Hodge for a reach on that one. Rateau trying to finish. No foul. Rebound, BR, here comes Santos. They said that was all clean, trying to finish. And then just like that, there's a takeaway. Yeah, that was a tough no call. Rito did a good job protecting the basketball with his body, and there was contact, but no whistle. There's a look. Won't go. Rebound, BR. And I apologize. I don't, I think Yeah, we don't hard. have his, we'll get his the next time out. We'll get it. His name, number 33 for the boxes. I think that's, and he, oh, nice play. Now, when the big man, when wow. he went up for the um, shot, yeah, he's the big guy. Follow your shot. Yeah. This ain't the NBA where you're not Joe Embiid. Yeah, exactly. All right, so. You know, it's, these guys, they, they get some bad habits watching the um, pros. Yeah, oh, my God, yeah. Right? So Hannigan's going to take a break. And that'll bring uh, Carmen Santos to the charity stripe. He hits, completes a three-point play. And here comes Rateau. Forts covered by Santos. Inside, back outside, off the rim won't go. I believe that's Hodge, number 33. His number's just not on the resume. I mean on the roster, resume. Falk now covered by Francois. We're gonna have a reach. That's his second one on Hodge, on um, Francois. His second team second, just underway in the second quarter. Inbound pass in the Brockton end. Off the inbound in the in the Brockton end. Falk trying to go around the far side. That's Wren. Drop of the key back to Falk. Falk to try to drive around. Fellow team works it inside. Floater right hand won't go. Ball tip. Still tip. He tries to go back door. Nice try by Lee Williams, but he's fouled and will go to the line. Brockton's really making Bridgewater Rayham work for their shots. And I'm going to call that on Philogene, his first, his second, excuse me. And number 33 for Brockton, last name Williams, will get his first name at halftime. Oh, Williams, okay. He's a big kid. Yes, he gets a breather. Lee, to sh Lee Williams shoot a second shot, misses the second. Brockton on the rebound, here comes Rateau, up to Forts now. Gonna drive his fadeaway baseline, that's off. Ball loose, nice job by Philogene moving. And we're gonna have a jump ball. Yeah, but you didn't, that's, uh, uh, Coach Jobs is right, I didn't know what the heck the play was. No one said nothing, I didn't see no body. So, ball, of course, possession arrow goes in favor of the boxes on the inbound pass in the Brockton end. He's big game, Miles Jackson, I'm Dominic Damiano, Lando Galveo is on the sideline. There's a shot that snaps the net, great job by Rito. Yeah, Rito squared up beautifully <laughs> before he took that shot. Yep. And that's what we were missing the last couple games from him. He's kind of been quiet there. Lozell lost the ball. Oh, recovered nice hustle by Santos, then he lost the ball. Ball loose again, taken by Falk. Falk driving baseline, his little sh his shot off, won't go. Rebound to Zell, first at the far baseline, let's say he's out of bounds, as Carmen Santos are trying to keep it in for the Trojans. Good defense by the boxers again. Bridgewater shots are not coming easy. No. No. Rito. Gonna start this start this offensive drive. Wow. Oh, what beautiful. a play. Great job. O'Kara right there. Nathan O'Kara 
right place, smart play. Oh, and we have a collision. Yeah, Rateau with his dribbling skills. I think some of those Bridgewater Rayham players was looking at Rateau dribbling, yeah. and somebody forgot all about my man cutting to the middle. Yeah, they did. That's John O'Kara, his first team fourth, which isn't good with four minutes left, and a nice job with the right hand off the glass for the Trojans. Rateau thinking about driving, stops. You have an offensive foul. Wow, he must have used his elbow or something to. Yep. And right, that's five. Yeah, and good defense by uh, Inozil. And he finishes. 437 and running left in this second half, excuse me, second quarter, first half. Inside. Philogene lost the ball. Now that's Philogene. Trying to get it back to O'Kara, but right there was a Bridgewater Raynham Trojan. Yeah, Philogene should have just put it right up. Long baseline shot won't go. Rebound. Oh, jump ball. Jump ball, wow. Brock got a break there. I thought it was good, good uh, defense by number 10, Philogene, and I thought there was some contact there, but the ref was right on it. Philogene and O'Kara come out for the boxes, and Pina and Francois check in for the boxes with 4.10 left in this half. Forts covering no Nozelle. They work at five baseline. Richo, as he's trying, to, he's trying to move on Ren, the captain, and he hits. Timeout, timeout. Coach DeBarros, he smartly calls that timeout because you could slowly see the momentum changing. Yeah, definitely good timeout because the last three baskets by Bridgewater Rayham were sound, not easy, but they were sound baskets yep. and they were layups. Yep. And that last one just floated right in there. He was in the paint. So before, when they first started, they weren't getting none of that. Yep. So he's going to have to remind his um, players that, hey, you got to play defense in that paint. Do what you did in that first quarter. Right. At 3.56 left in this first half. Oh, there he is right there. There's our sideline guy. He must have been, he must have been sending autographs. He must have been sending autographs again yeah. on the sideline. All right, so let's see how the boxes adjust to this. I love the momentum, I love the effort so far in between fir first two quarters. So at the half, you guys, will wrap, you, uh, you guys will wrap up the first half? You guys will wrap up the first half? Will that work? Okay. So the Trojans are coming out with uh, Nozelle, Reem the captain. It looks like Santos, and I know I'm missing a guy, I can't see him. And Williams. And out the inbound, here comes. Pena looks for a three, snaps the net. Wow. Who's that, Pena? That's Pena. Nice shot. They work it over, works it back out. Fuck trying to drive. Gets it back on the captain, they'll get Ren for the, get the captain for the travel. Nice applause when, uh, when Pena snapped the net on that three. Yeah, you know, he's a good bench play. He comes off, and fans are just glad to see him make a big shot like that. Rateau driving with the speed out of the Francois. Francois, the big man, trying to go. He smiley works off the Pena, gets it over to Lambert. Lambert now. They're moving around very well around the perimeter. Now driving, Forts over to Rateau. Rateau off balance. Gonna try to finish, and he's blocked, but it should stay Brockton ball. Great play by Cameron Santos now and the Trojans. They're gonna give it to the Trojans because when he blocked it, um, Rateau's hands were kind of the off the ball, yeah. It was a close play, but good call. Three minutes, that's around three minutes left in this first half. Long pass. 
That's Williams, kicks it over to Folk, trying to move on Francois, that's a kick ball. Right hand, didn't he kick that ball? Yeah, Francois, he wanted that block so bad, he, he committed himself and the player saw it, then went up for the shot. Good decision by number three. I think they're gonna call Falk. that on Pina, his first team first. No, they're calling that on Rateau. Yeah, they're calling that on Rateau. Rateau. That's kind of crazy. That. Gee, I thought I started. I, I don't even see Rateau out there. Right, he was on the far side of the court, I think, away from the play. Misses the second rebound, Francois and Pina. They can't decide who wants the ball, and Falk goes up and hits. That was good hustle there by by uh, Falk. Yep. So the referees remind him no showboating after you hit the basket. Nice way to say it, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that really shouldn't be showboating. These are high school players. Emotions are running high. And he finishes a three-point play. As Cat Brockton lead the nine. They were up by four, uh, no, nine nothing. Yeah, nine before. Um, now Fort's now. Fort's thinking about moving over to Lambert. Dishes it off. Lambert will start it up again. Gets it over. Now in the game is De Silva. De Silva. Philogene over to Silva. Bounce pass inside. The Pina moving, spinning. Back over to De Silva. Right hand is blocked. And BR takes. Brockton just got a break on that miscue. They sure did. Good defense by the Trojans. But like you said, Brockton got a, Trojans came back down on the fast break and, and lost it out of bounds. Yeah, so. it's like they ran out of real estate and knew what to do with the basketball for a second. So we'll have an inbound pass in the Brockton end. The Silva on the inbound. Let's throw it over to Forts. We'll have a reach. They're going to call that on Ren, the captain. Oh, they're gonna call a push. His first, team first. And I have another inbound ball in the Brooklyn end with 2.17 left in this first quarter. Off the inbound. Brockton has to get some rhythm going to end this quarter, end this half, that'd be nice. As Pilatus gets fouled. Yeah, good defense by Pilatus. It's gonna and be on um, Lambert, right? Yeah. It has to be. Yeah. He's gotta do a better job right there when he gets cornered in, protecting that basketball. So Pilatus will go to the charity stripe. The guard, the sophomore guard. He'll shoot a couple, because right now Brockton's in the, in the penalty with the new five, five fouls per quarter. Rateau checks in, De Silva checks out for the boxers. He misses the three point play. Pina on the rebound. Forts way up, and he has O'Cara. O'Cara can't finish, trying to get his own rebound. And they're gonna wow. call a jump ball. Oh. I don't know, he was hammered underneath. He was hammered prior to the ball being grabbed by another player. So, so the good thing is Brockton's ball yeah. off, the, off the possession arrow. Push off. Yeah, they're gonna. Then we got a push off but. on O'Kara, Nathan O'Kara. Yep. But doesn't that, um, well, get a market. Off the inbound. And a miscue on the inbound pass. Break again for Brockton. He should have went to the charity stripe on that one too. Yeah, we got five team fouls. Right. But I mean that other push off yes. by. Almost lost the ball, nice pass in front. They're gonna say it was last touched by a Trojan. 
Boxers are getting a little bit ahead of themselves right now. You can see with the body English. Yeah, Okira's got to be ready for that pass from uh, yep. Rateau. Lambert. He, he can really shoot it in there. Lambert's going to move around with Rateau. Rateau back to Lambert, thinking three. He has a look and buries another one from the baseline. Just builds up his confidence. Long pass over to Bellatus. Bellatus goes right hand, can't finish. Ball loose, gets his own rebound, nice hustle. Luzell trying to move, he goes left hand high, won't go, rebound okay for Brockton. And here come the boxes, Rateau now. Almost lost the ball, Lynn was able to get that. Miscommunication, pass it without looking. Now here's Santos, long hook shot. Boxes lead is 11. With a minute left in the half. Forts now, moving, stopping, gets in trouble. They thought they wanted to travel. Lambert lost the ball for a second. Forts, they're gonna slow it down. Yeah, nice job by the boxes, throw it, slow it down and get a play. We're gonna have a reach on uh, Santos. Yeah, that was a blocking foul there. A lot, lot of body contact, excuse me. That's fine, his first team second, no worries. And right in front of Miles, big game Jackson, we're gonna have an inbound pass. Forts, over to Lambert. Four seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Forts now, gonna let this clock run out. It. This is a jump, jump shot and hits. If he yeah. gets hot, that kid's overdue to get That's hot. That's a shot inside the three point line. Yep. He gets hot. Watch out. Little shot won't go. Rebound and hits on the follow up is Drew Simpson for the Trojans. This should be, of course, obviously the last play of the half. Five seconds. Almost lost the ball. Four, it's two. Rateau for three. Oh, nice try. Yeah. Kid has a smile on his face, and that's how the half will end. We got to score. Brockton 31. Uh, Bridgewater, random 20, right next to me is Orlando, and uh, we'll talk first half. So Orlando, exciting first half for the boxes, especially in that first quarter, they just dominated, only gave up two points to the Trojans. What'd you see? I seen a different team. Uh, last, uh, the six game, five game win, uh, losing streak, you haven't seen that energy from Brockton. You saw that early and often, and that's why they're up 11 at halftime. And what do you think about the dominant play, especially in that first quarter, and part of the second quarter of Francois on the boards, offensively as well as defensively? Well, as, as you know, uh, Brockton's without uh, Nuuso today, but I always thought Francois was their best player anyways. So he's just stepping up. It, when the, the bright lights are on right now, he knows he's got to be, he's, he's the guy, but he knows he's got to be the guy tonight. And he's just doing what, you know, he's talented enough to do, right? Exactly. Now, Cody Lambert, he's been involved in all aspects. Of going, he's not a big guard, but he's been getting some rebounds, hitting some outside shots. What do you see from my man That's Cody? That's another kid. I, I, from day one, I, I, lo I love Cody. Cody, it, it, all he needs is that confidence because he can shoot. Let me tell you something right now. You do not want to leave Mr. Lambert open because he can shoot. And if he's open, I say shoot the ball all the time. Fire it up. So basically, if he's hit a few shots. He's just building his confidence for this uh, second half. Yes, sir. So hopefully, you know, Brockton, you know, they can't let up. They got to they gotta keep on coming, coming stronger and stronger. We've seen second half collapses by Brockton in the last couple games. So hopefully... They come out in the second half exactly how they started this game. Miles. Now, my last question, Orlando, is uh, Nathan Rateau, as a, as a point guard, looking pretty big in this first half because Bridgewater Rams putting a lot of pressure on uh, listen, the guard. Man, listen, man, I'm, uh, I'm going to be serious, man. He's showing me something. He, he can handle the pressure. He's, he's doing a really good job. He's kind of surprised me. I'm like, he's, Nate's doing a really good job out there. And one more thing, what do you think? coaches telling his players, the Brockton players inside the locker room at this halftime? Well, he's telling them, it, this is exactly what he's telling them. He's like, BR's not going to quit. They're going to come out, they're going to make they're going to go out there, they, you know, they got Doug Alves, he's a great coach. He's going to go back in his locker room and make adjustments, so I'm pretty sure Manny 
is relaying that to his uh, his troops that we got to come out stronger. Even though we have an 11-point lead, we got to come out stronger if we're going to pull this one out. All right, there you go from Orlando here in this um, halftime. We'll be back for second half action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the head coach of the BR, uh, Coach Doug Al's Doug. Brockton came out flying um, in that first half, but you guys were able to, you know, get your rhythm, get back and cut the lead to 11. What's your thoughts going into the second half? Um, I don't want to give away all the secrets, but I think it's no secret. We're going to try to really force, dictate the tempo, get it going up and down. I feel like Brockton stalled us with that 2-2-1, two -two which is what a 2-2-1 two -two is designed to do, pretty much. Uh, we were, we were a little stagnated, a little slow coming out. It's a weird, it was a, it was a weird, like, pace type of game, so we're just going to really try to dictate the tempo and get it, get it, you know, flying up and down. Now, 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 you said before the game you're missing, uh, obviously, a couple of pieces. You think that's affect, affecting the way the first half went? Um, I mean, you never know with high school kids, to be honest. Uh, but all, all I know is we're, I feel like we're in a little bit of a rhythm now, and we're, we're definitely going to turn the pace up and keep it keep it turned up for the last 16 minutes. <sighs> there you have it. You heard it from Doug Giles. Uh, good luck in the second half, Coach. Thank you, boss. All right, so Lando Galvera with a great interview. As we get ready to start the second half, I'd like to welcome everybody in the Bridgewater Random area. Watch it on the Brockton channels, the YouTube channel. And everybody back home, watch on 1071 most likely. But right here also on the Brockton channel. All right, he's big game, Miles Jackson. I'm Dominic Damiano, Orlando Galveo. Did a nice job on a pregame interview. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, stand by for Brockton High School basketball. Yeah, this is going to get really crazy in this second half because Bridgewater knows they have a chance to come back and stay with this Brockton team in this second half. But hopefully Coach Barrows talked to his team, talked to his team in that locker room and told him you got to keep the intensity like you had in that first quarter. Absolutely. Because, because of you, because you didn't. Yep. Bridgewater Rayham has took advantage. They only down by 11 points. Yeah, Brockton had that nine nothing lead. I, I forget how far they were before uh, Br scored. I apologize. But um, yeah, and, and again that defense, Br didn't score their first two points until about 30 seconds left in the um, first quarter. 35, exactly. Good point, exactly. All right, so the boxers are going to come out with they're going to come out with Rico, Francois, O'Kara, Lambert, and um, Forts. Trojans are going to play with uh, Falk, Hannigan. They're working inside just like that's blocked by Francois of Beauty. What a way to start the third quarter. Yeah, beautiful defense. Francois Lambert. Big guy gonna drive, use his body, goes right, he's fouled. It'll go to the charity stripe. Again, for the Trojans, they're going with Hannigan, make sure I get it right, they're gonna keep the captain out there, Mike Reen. And then they have Williams, and it looks like Santos. So those are the five guys for the Trojans. And just like that, Francois at the charity stripe, he hits the first, always, oh, He's always a pretty smooth free throw. Through I was running. getting ready to say, beautiful uh, form and technique at that free throw line. Him and Rateau are probably the guys. If I ever get, into, if I get, if I ever, if we ever get, if the other team gets teed up, I want them to shoot. Yeah, hits them both. Brockton lead is 13 as we start this third quarter. Folk semi press, full court press, if you will, kind of relaxed. The best way to describe it. And Rito was trying to come up to pick a pocket. Long shot. Won't go. Rebound. Francois. Great job by that young man. Rito was thinking about taking the long shot over Santos. Goes right hand. Can't finish. Ball loose. Right there to help. Great job by O'Kara. And they're going to have an offensive foul against Francois. I think that's his fourth. Yeah, that, that was a good, good call. Great, great play by number 35. Yep. Santos to keep his feet 
station there and let Francois come in hard. And yeah, that's going to hurt Brockton right there. That's his, like you said, that's his fourth foul. So O'Kara's going to have to uh, step it up now. He's the biggest guy in the court along with um, Philogene. Now Folk. Hannigan works it inside. Nice try by Philogene. Tried to knock it out. Bounce shot off the glass. Won't go. And they're going to say he's fouled. Yeah. Thank you. And that'll bring Hannigan to the charity stripe. Let's see who they're calling that on. Oh, they're calling that on um, on Philogene. That's his fourth. Wow. So I'm thinking, P yep, Pina's going to come in. Masaya Pina, he'll come in as Philogene. And now Pina, basically, you, you know, I hope this doesn't sound fresh, your ninth man on the bench. Yeah, now Pina who just came in, and number five, Forts, they're going to have to really step up yep. on, on offense. Lead is 11. Yeah. Now Rateau. Oh, nice move. Oh, nice move by Rateau, the way he switched as he was into that cut. Long shot. That won't go. Ball loose. Rebound, BR. Bounce shot, fadeaway baseline, and... Hitting that is Santos, Cameron Santos. Lambert looking for a little bit of help all the way up to Pina. Pina thinking three. Little bit too much. Now Folk bouncing, stepping, moving. Too strong, ball loose on the floor. That should have been a travel. Yeah. Timeout. Timeout boxes. Yeah, Costa Barrows doesn't like what he sees, and it just goes to show how, how important Francois is when he's in there. He is. Well, and you know what he'll probably do? I'm thinking he'll make him play that fourth quarter and just keep until he follows out. You gotta think of uh, I don't know what to call that micromanaging, but that's probably the smart move. I mean, he has, what, three offensive fouls, right? Yeah. But I tell you, Bridgewater Rayham's taking advantage. His coach knows that when Brockton star player Francois is out, who controls those boards when he's in there, offensively as well as defensively. So he's making the right, pushing the right buttons to get this um, Bridgewater Rayham team only down by seven points. Yeah, they've cut the lead to seven with 6.08 here in the third quarter. I'm like, I'm looking, I'm like, where did that lead go? Like you said, they would be, hats off to the Trojans. He's being persistent. They're playing their game and, uh, Unfortunately, right now, the boxes are losing that intensity they had in the first quarter and a half. And the other problem is some of their players are in foul trouble. Yep. Oh, yeah. So yes, these sir. players for Brockton that are coming off the bench, they really got to step up. Santos, um, Forts. All right, here we go. Off the inbound, they go, they press them. And now Forts. No Zell. He might try to go downtown. He is, and he's fouled. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Wow, it looked like the Bridgewater players was, were, weren't, weren't stationed. That's a tough they call right there. Called that on fourth. That's very tough. Wow. Looked like his feet was I, I thought he drew the foul. I did too. He gave me an indication like he was going to go to the line and shoot a couple. Driving, moving, bouncing, lost the ball. Great job, ball loose. Falk picks it up. Now he's trying to drive around O'Kara, kicks it into the Zella. Smallest guy in the court. Right hand Florida lays it up. The lead's five. Forts now looking for a little help. His fadeaway off the rim won't go. The rebound, Trojans. Trojans are all. Rosella almost lost the ball. He's going to drive, feeds it inside up the glass, and he's fouled. Wow, that was a beautiful feed. Coach Bellows has no, no choice but to get Francois back in there. Francois is just going to have to be easy on, on offense if he's going to drive to the basket. Yep. Because these refs are calling everything on the boxes. He has no choice but to get him to lead three now. Yeah. And let me see, now he's putting um, uh, Corlett in there. No, no, 
A little confusion on who's yeah, come out. Yeah, that's not good. Everybody's got it. When you see another player come in, everybody's got to pay attention, look over to the coach, yep. and see who, who's, who's coming out. Lee Williams couldn't complete the three-point play, and here come the boxers. Lambert. Over to Francois. Rucho. Collette. Rucho trying to move. Glad oh, uh, nice play by the big guy. That was beautiful by Rato. Smoothly kissed it off the glass and in. He went around two defenders on that shot. Trying to finish Falk, and they're gonna say foul and it falls. Wow. I'm gonna call that on Colette, his first team fifth. And just like that, Brockland's in foul trouble again. And we're not even halfway through this third quarter. Finishes a three-point play, cuts the lead to two. Lambert. Colette, Pina, back to Colette, looking for help all the way back to Lambert. Lead is two now. Pina. Francois. Oh, that ball was blocked by Falk. Hannigan trying to finish. Oh, I can't believe they didn't call charging. He had That's, position. He had position. Around the back won't go. Rebound to Wow. Williams. That was a terrible non call. Oh, my God. Wow. Shot for three. Up the rim won't go. And here's Francois. He's going to try to drive this time. Kicks it back out. Rato hits. Pulls the trigger for three. Brockton has extended their lead to five with 3.47 left in the third quarter. Nozell covered by Lambert. He switches with Colette. Nozell using the speed. He goes right hand. Ran out of real estate. Francois and Rateau. Where's the foul? They're going to say it was all ball. No look. Hannigan tries to go behind the glass. Won't go. Won't go. Too much fancy stuff. Now Rateau, Francois, and he's fouled. No, come on. The same thing, they got, they got to call it both ways. Dom, that's, same thing. That's crazy. And, and there was a non-call on the other end of the court. Terrible, just terrible. That's crazy, his feet were moving too. But you know, the right. refs, refs got to do it on both ends. You just can't that's favor terrible. one side. Look, look at five team fouls to one foul with Bridgewater Rayham. I know he's a big kid coming in, but he, he, he didn't have position. No, he, no. Just a tough call right there. Yep. Just a shame. We're only in the third quarter. They're going to get um, get the um, star player for Brockton out of there early. This should have been an offensive foul right there. Yep, push off inside, trying to finish, and he does is Williams. They have cut the lead to three. Rateau, Forts now. Brockton has to start getting the rhythm back. Forts driving, and have a foul on the floor. Gonna call that on Folk, his first. No, his second, right? Yeah, his second, team second. I'm trying to pick kids foot that do not have position. When they, I don't know. Oh, Kara, need a big game out of O'Kara now. Timeout, timeout, Coach DeBarros. You know, I, you know, I don't know. I, I saw the kid's feet move. I didn't see I didn't see him have a solid position when he drew when he picked the foul. I, I just can't they, they're calling all the charges on Brockton, but when Bridgewater comes down and one of the Brockton players has their feet stationed twice and there was no call. Yep. And you can see the um assistant coaches out there talking to the refs. They can't believe it either. And, and like you said, they're saying, hey, the guy was moving. He, didn't, he wasn't stationed. No. Just terrible call. And then the same thing down here with Lambert. Yeah. He took a body. I mean, you Yeah, can... he, had it, he just stood there. Yeah. And they didn't call nothing. 
unbelievable. All right, with that being said, box, the box is gonna have to get their rhythm back. Yeah, they really have to step up now. They do now. Especially, especially getting rebounds. Yeah, rebounds has been hurting. Somebody's gonna have to step up without Francois in there and, and get some more rebounds. All right, 2.36 left in this quarter. Trojans have cut the lead to three. Let's see what the boxes go out with, come out with here. And if you only had Chidi Nowuso in that middle. And Bridgewater comes out with some big guys on the front court. Yep, Hannigan, Simpson. Hey, Looks like Santos. Yep, Santos is out there. Yeah, this is where Phila Jean, he's really got to step up as one of the front court men and, and get some rebounds. Now, now Forts. Covered by Santos, bounce pass to Rateau, covered by Hannigan, who's thinking about shooting. Going, driving, kicks it back out to Colette. His floater right hand and hits. Nice job by Colette. That's driving nice to the basket, yeah. I'd like to see him start getting hot and helping out. Trying to drive, he stops, stops the perimeter. Long shot for three, won't go, ball loose. Nice board by Hannigan to BR. Norell, Nozella must lost the ball because Forch is right there. He'll wind it back up with Santos. That was from Wren. They try to work it inside to Simpson. Long shot. Won't go. Rebound. Great job by O'Kara on the yeah. rebound. We told you to try to drive. He does. Oh, come on. He tried, he tried to avoid him. Yep, and they're going to call him for an offensive foul. Terrible call. Yikes. I mean, if you're going to call on one and call on the other. His third. But his feet were moving, though. He was never stationary. 135 left. Trying to drive. Ozea won't go. Ball rebound. Rebound. Um, Philogene. Here comes Forts. My God, I never saw that much. All right, here we go. Forts, Rito, trying to move. You're gonna have a nice. All right, they're gonna call that on uh, Santos. His second team third. They gotta get him. They gotta try to. I don't know what to do. I mean, they go drive the hoop. It's automatic offensive foul. Rateau, bounce pass inside. Trying to finish, it could have been blocked. O'Carey going up, and he finishes, yes. They need that out of him so bad right now. He has to step up, like I said, in this, um, when um, Francois went out. Philogene really got to step up. Also, um, the one who made the basket, O'Carey. Did a nice job fighting for that rebound. Okay, for a three-point play, and he does it. Nice shot, nice finish. Brockton has extended their lead as of right now with 105 left in the third quarter. Off the inbound. Terrell now back in the game for the, for the Trojans. Falk trying to move. Oh, that was travel. He moved, no, no call, ball loose. They get it back out to Terrell. Terrell gets double team, works it smartly to the far back outside to Ren, the captain. Terrell, oh, and that's it. Nice play by Rateau. Yeah, Brockton has to keep the intensity up on, on defense. 35 seconds left in the quarter. Falk now kicks it back out. 10 seconds left. Terrell. Trying to make a move, five, he lets it go. That's gonna be short, won't go. And his last shot. Nice Forts. job by the boxes. Excellent job. All the way to far over, miscommunicated from him and O'Care. He thought it was gonna beat it with 11 Man. seconds left. You can't go across the court like that. No. And that's what the coach was telling him. Well, like I like I was telling you, the, the uh, unfortunately the, the loss. Let, well, we'll let this finish. Two one. He's not going to get it off, and that'll do it. You know this better than anybody. 
you can tell the season's teams from the teams that have the athletic, they have the athletes on it, but they're not gelling, yeah. you know? And that's what happened in the Durfee game. They, all right, they, now with the uh, 2021 right. Brockton graduate, stand out on the basketball court and the football court, Navon Reed, who's from a rich family, brothers go, went to college, uncle played for a state championship in 1995. How you doing, Navon? Doing good, and you? How's it going at Bentley? Doing pretty good. I'm in my junior year. I just finished my first semester, and I'm looking forward to a good spring ball. I'm working hard to continue to grind. Yes, sir. Now, things have changed since you left. But what's your opinion on this game uh, and the current Brockton team? In the past few years, I've noticed that they've lost a little bit of heart. You know, so one motivation that I would give to them is just play with more heart, play with more pride. that will take them further. Y'all heard it from uh, the one and only Navon Reed. Brockton's got to play with that pride. Thanks a lot, sir. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. All right, there's Orlando. I, 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 was, I forgot about the cue. But um, what I was trying to say is the boxers have a lot of athletes out there. And Durfee, they were so senior strong, they knew exactly where everyone was going to be. They, they knew where to be in case of a, like, following your shots, all those young And the kids were no bigger than us, but they were fast. You know, they were fast. And unfortunately, the boxers couldn't answer for that. You know, yeah. You know, I going back to uh, Orlando talking to Navon Reed, great, great player. We call academically as well yeah. as um, out there in the football field, out here on the court. Just a great attitude as a student and an athlete. Yeah, and we've called his games before. That name did sound familiar. So we we wish Navon well. All the best. Yes. What a nice kid. Great kid. Great attitude. And it all begins with attitude. All right, so we'll start this third, this fourth quarter, 43-35 Brockton. And the boxers have it off the inbound in the BR end. Again, just underway. Big game, Miles Jackson. I'm Dominic Damiano. Orlando Galveo also on this, helping out with this broadcast. And Scott doing all the directing and producing up in the Crow's Nest. Up in the bleachers, helping us out. Now these passes are going to have to be crisp when they pass it. They can't be lollipop passes. They got to have some zip on them because Bridgewater is hungry. Rateau, shot block, got his own rebound. Nobody saw him. Oh, and he threw a foul. Oh, oh. Finally. Oh, thanks. All right. I'd rather you do it because you do better. All right, so here we go. Seven just underway. Rito hits the first. Free throws are going to be big in this first quarter for both teams. Absolutely. But especially for Brockton. Again, Francois is out of the game. He has fouled out mid midway through the third quarter, folks. All right, lead is 10 for the boxes. You can hear Coach at, Coach De De Barrows coaching from back here. It's fun to hear. Inside, Folk covered by Folk. Gets it back over to hand again, covered by Lambert. Thought he was looking for a cutter. And then Reen, the captain, long shot and snaps the net is Santos, lead is seven. Santos has hit that shot all game. Yep. When he's taking it. Forts now. Losing the ball for a second. Forts, Lambert baseline, he's hit it before that shot. That might have been tipped. Yeah, you're going to get over the back there. On Philogene. Yep, Philogene, he did go over the back. And he's done. That's five. Wow. And I'd love to put Pina back in. Yeah, here comes Messiah. Pina, he'll come in. Now this snap. kid, this kid Pina, Messiah Pina, he's really going to have to step up. He's going to have to get off the floor yep. and get some offensive and defensive boards. Yes, sir. He's going to have to be big in this last six minutes, six and a half minutes. 
Bounce pass inside. Too strong, great job, trying to finish, and he does. Michelin Santos missed the shot, followed his own shot, kind of like what Rato did from the other end for Brockton. Lead is five. Rato. He's gonna try to drive, float it right hand. He's fouled. Oh, oh, baby! That was all God-given ability right there. That was he beautiful. just cut through there like hot, a hot knife on butter. That was a beautiful move, and he finished the play. Hey, you guys take that. So Rotoda to try to finish a three-point play, extend Brockton's lead to eight, and he does. Nice form again. Like you said, Rateau's another one that can shoot those free throws. I like it when he has, I love it when he shoots the basketball. Fun kid to watch. Well, they all are, but he has a certain rhythm. Yeah, see, he, number three, uses that arm a little bit too much, that left arm. Wow. They got a push on Pina, his first, team second. I guess Pina can't believe they called the foul. I, I, my eyes weren't on that part of the court. Put his hands up. Good job by Pina. They're going to say it wasn't foul. That's, that's going to be Brockton ball. They're going to double check. So, Timeout, timeout, Bridgewater Raynham. 5.52 left. The boxes have extended the lead to eight. And both teams only have two fouls. You know, Dom, I'm nervous. Yeah. You know, Brockton's lost two of their starters. Um, the, the, the calls haven't been going their way. And I don't want them to go their way. I just want them to be fair. Yeah. And uh, they're hanging in there. But it, it's going to be a tough Tough last five, five minutes, 52 seconds. This is what I think is going to build character for this team without the Russo in the lineup anymore. They came out like gangbusters. It was so much fun to watch, but they're holding their own. And um, again, a big Southeast Conference matchup. And there's a man right here who's with us right now. There's uh, Orlando right over my left shoulder. I thought he was a tax guy for a minute. Any comments, Orlando? You good? good? All right, let's see who the boxes come out with. You know Bridgewater Rams is going to come out. They're going to come out with their big guys and come out with Lee, Williams, uh, Hannigan, Falk, and Nozell. Brockton's coming out with Rito, Forts, Lambert, Pina, and O'Carroll. This is a big game for O'Carroll. This is what's going to define him as a varsity basketball player. Because they need him more than they know, especially inside. Off the inbound forts is Rito. Gonna drive again. And he finishes again. Wow. <laughs> he looked he, like Cameron Montero. He's feeling it. He feels he, he he can drive on these guys. Another steal by the boxers. Rito, another basket. The lead is 12 just like that. Just great defense. Unbelievable. Great awareness before them passes are thrown by these guys. Almost another takeaway by the boxes at half court. Santos, long shot and buries the three. That's his third one. Timeout, timeout. Coach DeBarrows did not like the way the rhythm was going. Boxes had the steal. Did he look like Cameron Montero there for a minute? He, he did. He went right straight to the basket, very smooth. But I like the aggression there for Brockton's um, defense this last minute or so. They yep. got about uh, three quick baskets off a of good defense. Yep. Got to stay punched in to finish the game. So the boxes are away their next two games. They will be... I have next, I have, uh, excuse me, on the 15th, next Monday, they will go to Natick and play the Rebels up in uh, Natick High School. Then they go back in the Southeast Conference play on the 19th, and they play New Bedford. 
And then the boxes come home as North High School. They come in to take on the boxes on the 22nd. So the next home game ain't till the 22nd. Yeah, that, that's going to be two tough road games for the boxes. Yep. Um, they just have to step up and play play tough defense and, and rebound both ends of the court. Rebounding is so important in the game of basketball. Coach Bar the Barrows loves the rhythm these five guys have. He's, stay he's staying with them. Lambert, Rateau, Forts, O'Kara, and now Pina, who's getting some, who's getting some minutes. And he ain't got no choice but to get yeah. some minutes. But he's hit a three and, you know. <laughs> get no shit, you're right. <laughs> oh, no, uh, that's funny. <laughs> Lead is... 11. Forts now. Smartly using the clock. Rateau, far shot, Lambert, Forts, five seconds. Long shot, won't go. Shot clock violation against the boxes, change of possession. With 4.37 left. Yeah, they just couldn't quite get something going there on that offensive end on that series. Give Bridgewater credit. They play good defense. Inside right there. No one paid attention to Lee Williams. It was right place, right time. To yeah, Santos got to get down there a little bit quicker. Along with O'Care to protect that basket. Boxes lead to seven. Forts off the rim, won't go, ball loose. Nice job by O'Kara, keeping it in for the boxers. Fresh shot clock, Lambert. Four minutes left in the game, the lead is, lead is seven. Retto off a pick, gonna try to drive right in. Didn't say it was last touched by him. And you can hear the Bridgewater Trojans Watch him about a moving screen. The hot hand won't go. Rebound Hannigan. Works it back inside. The folk almost lost the ball. Far side. Santos again gets it over to Hannigan. Hannigan thinking about moving off of Lambert. Bounce. Right hand too hard off the floor. Ball loose. Wow. And we're gonna, we're gonna call that on O'Kara. Uh oh, his third, team third with 328 left. They can't afford to lose another big guy. Off the inbound in the Brockton end. Hannigan was thinking three. He sees a lane, stops. Pina slows it down, in and out. Great job by Pina on the defense. Yeah, good Boxers. job by Pina there. Kept his ground, defended it, forced the miss. Oh, almost out of steal for Toe. To Lambert all the way over to Forza, so working around the perimeter, killing the clock. Three minutes left in the game. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Now 10 seconds on the shot clock, excuse me. Rateau's gonna try to drive, he is, lost it. We're gonna have a foul. Rateau is, is exploiting that middle because he's so quick. Bridgewater has no choice but to go in hard and, and hopefully a foul has occurred. Right now, the, I like the way Brockton's playing smart basketball. Yeah, they're using that clock to their advantage. Lambert. They're just gonna move the ball around. He was thinking about hitting Pena. He's like, no, don't. You see Coach DeBarros, no, move the basketball. Kill the clock. Approaching 10 seconds on the shot clock. 2.30 now left in the game. O'Kara moving, moving his pivot foot. Nice time by Coach DeBarros. Yeah, he didn't like what he's seeing on that offensive end. But 2.24 left. They're going to have five seconds on the shot clock. They're going to run this play really fast. Yeah, they to, they don't, like you said, they only got five seconds on the shot clock. They have to get something uh, figured out real quick. But Brockton's going to have to do a better job. If they're going to 
um, use time on that clock. They're going to have to move that ball around a little bit yeah. more uh, quicker yep. because what happens is if the man holds on to the ball, then that gives the defense a chance to figure out, okay, who's he going to pass it to? Yep, absolutely. And then they can go for the steal. Well, you can see the, the fans, Brockton fans are on pins and needles yeah, out here this like evening. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. All right, we can out of this Brockton timeout. I think the box is going to, now O'Kara has four fouls. That's going to hurt him. He lose that yeah. big guy. I mean, the referees have really played a big part in this basketball game. Yeah. Two of Brockton starters, and, and, and one key starter, they're out. And the key starter, Francois, is, was put out in the middle of third quarter, if you can believe that. Off the inbound, there's Rateau. Five seconds, three, driving off the glass. I think that was tip ball loose on the floor. Carrera can get a ball still loose on the floor, taken by the Trojans. Slowing it down to Santos. Falk trying to drive. Nothing there. Ball loose. O'Kara has the ball. Falls down. They're going to get it for travel. You knew that was going down. As soon as he poor guy fell down, that's automatic. I, I, I don't know about that, that call right there. He fell over one of the Bridgewater's players. That, that, that's Bridgewater. a tough call on Brockton there. That was a tough call. I didn't like it. 2.02 left. 52-47, lead is still seven, 45, excuse me. Lead is seven for the boxers. This would be a big win for the boxers, just uh, oh. just on spirit alone, you know? Yeah, I mean, they, they, they're playing with uh, not even half their starters. I yeah. mean, if um, they don't have uh, uh, Nuuso no more, so, and, and you've got um, Francois, he's fouled out. And yep. uh, Philogene, he's fouled out. Yep. So Brockton's bench really has to step up here. And um, and and I say get the ball in uh, Rateau's hands. Yep. When they're on offense, you need to get it in his hands. You do. You really do. All right, so here we go. As you come out of the timeout again, 202 left. The lead is 7, 52-45. We'd like to welcome everybody watching on the Brockton channels in the greater Bridgewater and Raynham area, and of course, the faithful here in Brockton. So each team has one timeout left. 2.02 left. Brockton's got to be very aware on this inbound pass. They don't want to let nothing come in easy. Make it hard for Bridgewater. Inbound ball in the Brockton end. Hannigan trying to get it inside. Falk. Bertol, nice job. See if he finished. He might go coast to coast. And he does. That was beautiful. He went up high enough because the player who was defending him was a little bit taller than him, but he yep. knew he had the sense to get it up high. Yep, right off of Hannigan's fingertips. Right away, Falk. That won't go. Rebound, Brockton. Oh, Kara. Lambert needs help. Fortz is ready to help him. And there's Rateau. Rateau. Pina. Lambert was thinking about shooting. It gets it back over to Rateau. They're in a the situation now. They're going to have to start fouling to stop this clock. And there, there's the start of it right there. There's the start Hamlet. of it right there. And yeah. again, keep 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 the ball in Rateau's hands with less than um, a minute and a half left in this ball game. You want to yep. get it in his hands because he knows how to drive to the basket and get that foul called. Well, Cameron Santos, the gentleman has about 20 points, at least 20 points and um, at least 15, uh, 12 points, excuse me, in hitting the three throws has has just fouled out of yeah. the game. Yeah, Santos, that, that, that's a big, big blow for Bridgewater Rayham, for him to foul out. Yep. Because he was hitting big shots really inside was. the three. Yep, and he was being making plays. So let's see who they got in his place. So now coming into the game is number 12, back in the game, I should say, is uh, the, the senior David Nozell. Oh, 
And we'll have an inbound ball in the, in the Bridgewater end, 120 left. Richo. I'm gonna try to double team him. Fred, kind of little reach, is it reach there? And that'll put Brockton in the charity stripe with 112 left and Forch will shoot a couple. This has probably been the best team win we've seen all year so far. Yeah, it is because a lot of the bench players had a lot to do with it. Um, they've overcome some adversity. This is the first. Need those threes, gotta bring the sleep back up to 10. Uh, misses them both. Oh, Kara right there, he lost the ball. Why was that not traveling? Now Falk now trying to finish, he's inside and a nice, that big guy drove that offensive foul. Finally! Wow. Finally! He stood his ground. He did. Great job by Pina. He's just, he's just showing this coach in this game. His, um, got, oh, we got another foul this time on Falk. On a push. That's on Falk. So they're gonna go, they're gonna take two shots again. So Lambert to shoot a couple, another good uh, free throw shooter when he's in his rhythm. It's funny how the coaches are telling these kids, no matter how much time they stop talking trash, play the game. Exactly. You need and, and they're exactly right. They are right. Hits the first, lead is 10. He hits them both. The lead is 11 with 104 left. They got to score right away. Yep. Three pointer. Won't go. Tipped. Let's say last touch by Rato. That was a great job by Rato fighting for that basketball. It was. Because if he didn't fight for it, Bridgewater would have got the rebound and put it right back up. Yep. Yeah, Folk was right there. Exactly. Coach DeBarra's gonna switch to decaf coffee after this game. <laughs> Folk high up the glass, won't go. Ball loose. O'Kara on that, Rato now. Great cut, great heads up by O'Kara. And then gonna have a reach on Lee Williams. That'll put him to the line, extend their lead, hopefully. I tell you, Rateau's been a big factor in this basketball game, in this, especially this last six, seven minutes of this fourth quarter. You get the ball in his hands, and you got to feel a little bit better about Brockton holding on to the ball or him driving to the basket like he's been doing all game. And then uh, Nathan O'Kara, I like the way, I like his uh, play off the bench. Uh, Pena needs a little, he's a little rough behind the edges, but he showed a lot of promise coming off the bench. They got to score fast. Lead is 13. Trying to make a move. Lost the ball. Miscommunication between him and Lee, uh, Folk and Williams for BR. So Brockton ball off the inbound. They're going to press him half court with 33 seconds left in the game. Forts now. Doesn't have to shoot this. Uh, move the ball. Just move the ball. Good job by Coach DeBarrows. Yeah, that was a good job. See that? Must be in his contract. <laughs> hey, you know what? Um, just grab our headsets. You don't even need the mic. You can just grab our headsets. Okay. You want to do it over there then? Yeah. Do you want to do it over there then? Okay. So we'll cue, we'll just cue you right after we get done, and then. Uh, We'll just well, call it after that. Why we got a timeout, Atlanta? Let me ask you. 
What's, yep. What, yep. what's been on. one of the biggest factors in this fourth quarter for the boxers? Well, the biggest factor is playing without the lights of uh, Francois. When, when he went out in the third quarter, he fouled out. We said, oh, this, is gonna, this, is, this is a problem. But it seemed to fire up Brockton. The, the, the intensity hasn't stopped since the ball was tipped. Okay. Well said. They haven't, yeah, exactly. Well said. Once Francois fouled out, Brockton really, really had to step up. O'Kara, he stepped up. Philogene, he's stepping up until they fouled, and uh, the rest fouled him out of the game. Yep. So they, they really hung in there with some intensity. And, of course, of course, the key to, key to this fourth quarter has been uh, Rito. You said it best. Uh, yeah. The refs did foul him out. Yeah, the refs fouled him out. Pretty well said, Miles. Yeah. I agree. Forts on the inbound in the Brockton end. There's Rito. 23 seconds left. He has to get over half court. And they'll just try not to slide. And Pino will get it back out to the top of the perimeter to Lambert. Lambert. Over to Forts, and that's it, folks. That's going to do it. The Brockton Boxers with a 58-45 win over the Bridgewater Raynham Trojans in the Southeast Conference game. Great heads-up play. Great all-team effort by the Boxers. Yes, definitely an all-team effort. We were all on pins and needles there. Again, when Francois... Uh, fouled out of the game, but Brockton bench, I give them an A oh, for yeah. hanging in there in that second half. Absolutely. Um, a lot of pressure was put on them. Yes. A lot of pressure, and uh, Coach DeBarros communicated with them very well yep. in those timeouts, those important timeouts, yeah. to, to hang on to this uh, win. They should be happy with their performance. They really worked hard. And like, like we talked about, an all-team win on that one. And with that being said, Orlando Galveo, he is gonna talk to the coach in a minute, and that'll wrap us up. Yeah, and and and, and a big ups to the to the to the bench on on the the um, front court. Yeah. They they played tough in that right, last uh, five I'm minutes. Here we go. Brockton head coach Costa Barrows, and he's calling the whole team basically because this was a team effort. Brockton came out flying with a 16-2 lead after the first quarter, and they kept the the pedal to the metal. What was the factors uh, going in tonight? Uh, I believe just confidence, man. Confidence and playing together, and just really just us galvanizing as a as a unit, and just understanding that hey, man. When you're at home, you got to play with some pride um, and effort. And these guys, I couldn't ask for more. I mean, we got our co-captain over here, Nate, who did a fantastic job attacking the, the rack all day long. You got Cody over here just hitting some big shots. You got Marvelous Marcus over here just controlling the game, doing a great job shooting. And then this this big guy over here, Messiah Pina, who listen hasn't hasn't had a lot of playing time, but did an absolutely fantastic job of just giving us effort, energy, hitting some big shots. Yep. Couldn't be prouder for all these guys, seriously. I mean, we, we, let, we, we lost John, our, you know, our main guy as well, you know, early. And, and for these guys to be resilient and not lose hope and just concentrate, it was just big. It was a big win for us, it really was. Yes, coach, um, and when um, Francois got, get, got hurt, I mean, sorry, fouled out, obviously I was like, this is not good, but this guy right here, Anytime we needed a basket, stepped up, man. You was tremendous tonight. Thank you. It's just confidence. You know, just get into the rim and get into the hoop. Uh, we played together as a team, so the energy we gave on defense just transferred into offense. You know, so that's all it was. But, you know, we needed this win to turn around the season. I was up from here. Tremendous performance, Nate. And Cody, I always tell, I always say, I'm in the stands. I always say, man, when you're open, shoot the ball. I don't think you know how good you really are. Um, you're open, shoot it, Cody. I, I think the best thing for me was my teammates trusted me. Even when I made my mistakes, they still didn't think they didn't think twice. They got me the ball when I was open. They trusted me. That's, that's the him. best thing that we need right now. Trust everyone. We all, us four here and everyone else, we all trust each yeah, other. Yeah, just one more minute. And Marcus, Sorry. the way you control the offense today, especially at the end of that game where you guys were patient, was it uh, making no foolish turnovers that keyed yeah, into that five-game so, loser thank streak? You. How about that? Yeah. Finally, we got over the hump. Keep winning, get the streak going. Excellent, and you right there, when they made a run, yeah. you hit that big three-pointer to keep Bridgewater uh, Rainham at bay. How do you feel about that? 
man. I'm just Thank happy you. to be here in the game, playing my role. I was talking about playing a role all season. Yes, sir. There you hear it. Brockton with a big win today over Bridgewater Rayham, and it's on to the next one. Great job, fellas. Yes, sir. All right, so there you go. Brockton's on the road for the next two games. Four miles, Jackson. I'm Dominic Damiano. We will catch you next time. Everyone have a fantastic weekend. Good night, everyone.